All right, what's it? Fuck me. No, I don't care about minor details or something. I want to go to the door. Okay, what's going on in here? And what can we find? So, so it's assume mallet number three. So the thing is not here anymore. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have been come from? Yeah, okay, here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved during the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that could definitely have been a possibility. Alright. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get up in the third floor. That's still a total mystery, alright? And the mallet's still here. Is there any um, evidence or what if just happened number four? The weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Okay. Huh? This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, I just recently too. Alright. Is there any other areas we could search for? So all there's left is oh fuck I forgot the timer oh well it doesn't matter anyways I'm not use, I'm not doing I have I don't have a copyright strike right now so I'm perfectly fine with uploading videos that are longer than 15 minutes but regardless I just wanted to keep the timer on just in case this episode goes way too overboard um, can I just fast travel yeah because I don't want to go all the way to the okay I think it's possible all right. So, where the hell's the uh, nurse's office? Is this it? Nurse's office, perfect. Alright, let's figure out what the fuck's going on here. Alright, so we got blood. And we got the hammer. Where the fuck the hammer? That's weird. Let me look at the evidence for the hammer again, in case I might be misinterpreting something. Spotless hammer. Hammers of all shape and sizes were found in the repository. One of them was found wet. And had. Wait a minute. There's something I'm noticing about these hammers so far. They're not covered in blood. At least from a first place glance. Just as hammer number three, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. So I'm guessing this is not actually the murder weapon. But the murder weapon is actually the spotless hammer, which was just completely washed off. But that just makes things even more suspicious. Then again, it'll be obviously noticeable as well if we see the blood on the hammer. So I'm guessing that hammer was used as the murder weapon. Um, anyway, so this was used to kill Kifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. Alright. Uh, we can't even inspect the blood? Alright. Uh, Celeste, what do you have to say? What are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you suppose it would be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be going getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Mm -hmm. It would seem so. Carries off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of as, it as anything else than impossible. Alright, so Celeste has some sort of witness at least with Aoi. I'm still a little bit suspicious about her being so brash and evasive every time she sees a shadow or the man in costume. But then again, she did get hit as well, and she's the only one that survived, so of course she's gonna have some sort of traumatizing experience. Is there anything that could be searched in this trash can, maybe? Is there any evidence left behind from the killer himself? It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside! It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth, and there's blood in it, so I'm assuming this is used to clean glasses? 
and it's some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood! Oh. Alright. Ah, did you hide something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? Yeah, and it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe some blood. But who would need something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But... Uh, that, that would be very, um... Interesting, though. If somehow Hifumi was still conscious as he got up and then he died because uh, that's uh, that's gonna be really tricky. Hifumi is definitely the interesting suspect. Well, no, no, the interesting um evidence piece right here. And we still have nothing against Taka whatsoever aside from maybe the tarp and the dolly. Um, yeah, me neither. But I think it might be important. So we got information about the glasses cleaning cloth. Is there anything else? Her, her, and this refrigerator? What is this? A refrigerator? I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusion, I guess. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Alright, at least I got a coin for that. And the rest is just the camera. And you can't even have that no smoking sign or whatever, or the inflammatory sign. Alright, so, nothing here. <laughs> so, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. Y you have? <laughs> I want to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant it, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's Room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall? This is the note Hero wrote w to get us all to meet up, right? Hmm. You remember well. So... Yeah, there's a lot of evidence against Hero. There's no way... Like, unless this game somehow really, really tricks us. Hero's definitely the culprit of the murder of Hifumi, without a doubt. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it... Clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, Yasuhiro's message, but has been, uh, sorry, has been added to the truth bullet. All right, go to Hero's room. Oh boy, okay, um. Is there still something at the nurse's office? Because that has an exclamation point. But considering, you know, let's search up, uh. Let's search up the dormitories or something. Where the hell are they exactly? That's the gym. I guess I could fast travel though, but. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Okay, so, Hero's Room. What awaits me there? Oh no, this is the wrong area. Never mind. So, this leaves me with nothing. I don't think this place has anything to do with murder anyway, so there's no point in, uh, searching around. Uh, is this the place? Yeah, here it is. The Spare Hotel. Okay. 10.37, so I still got some time, that's good. Um, so Hero's Room. This could be very interesting. Did he search around as well, or did he somehow make it worse and make made shit up in Hero's Room or something? Sayaka... Where the fuck is Hero's room? Junko? Toko? Chihiro? Celeste? Aoi? Sakura? Where the fuck is Hero's room? Leon? Yes, yeah, Hero, here we go. Door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Yakuya did say to go look, and it might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take a plunge. Alright, what the fuck's going on in Yasuhiro's room? What's it is? Oh, what the fuck? This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where'd he get all this? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? That is true. Alright, what's with these boxes? I think there's something inside these cardboard boxes. It's blueprints for something and... Dirt. 
Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait. It's blue. Something about them bothers me. Robo Justice have arms bent like this. Is it the same handwriting? Is the question. Could be instructions for him. Where is the uh, note? Me in the dining hall. That looks like it's a very calligraphic lines things. Like notice how like most of the um end of the um letters are have like that little spot of line there. This one on the other hand seems very basic, so it could be a different handwriting as well. So he made it, but he's not the one that programmed it. So okay then. So, we definitely know there's gonna be an accomplice, without a doubt. Question is, who's the second accomplice? Well, probably, Hero is probably the accomplice right now. He's not the one that made the fucking blueprint and the murder shit. But, I have to wonder, who did? Robo Justice Blueprints has been added to the Truth Bullet sections of your handbook. Okay, so that's that. Is there anything in the tea? No? Okay. There's a door... Actually, no, we can search that thing. Okay, what is- or the door. I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. How does the bathroom even look- get this dirty? Uh, I don't know. Alright. TV, cardboard boxes, the bed... Okay. What's in the bed? It's a normal bed, pretty much in my room. Is that really it? Oh, that sucks. I thought there was something else, but I guess nothing. A surveillance camera. There's no point in worrying about it right now. I just need to forget about it. I guess that's it? Unless the game tells me there's something else. Okay. Um. Makoto, big news, big news! W what's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. It's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? And Hero's wearing the costume. Okay, so it's obvious that Hero is the accomplice. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you, as soon as you can, head up to the pool on the second floor. All right. Anyway, have to head to the pool. I ran up to the second floor as fast as I can, uh, as fast as I could. All right. This should be interesting. What's going on here? Everyone's here. They're even Robo Justice himself. Okay. What the fuck's going on around here? Kyoko and I mean, phew, man, I had, I have had the worst day, <laughs> dude. You're guilty. Why the fuck are you so casual about it? Hero? Huh? I don't want to talk about this, but yes, a hero. Um, hero? <laughs> yeah, duh. Who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? D did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? Dude, don't play fucking dumb. Come on. God, he really is a moron after all. Okay, um, Kyoko. We have some questions for you. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool locker room. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me! You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I, I don't know, caress my face or something? What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Yeah. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind! Nothing. Never. Mind. You're kind of making yourself suspicious right now, Kyoko. Hey. More importantly... She says that, but does she really have any idea? Does she know the per know people she think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. When I woke up, I was here. Hmm. I don't care. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, uh, I don't know what's up with this thing. But I can actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make the stupid freaking thing! It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. 
It looks pretty sturdy, but I don't know how you can get it off your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we all got the pieces off. <laughs> Ugh! Free at last! Mm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, what? Uh, hold on a sec! Honestly... Don't bother trying to act innocent, the blueprints were in your room as well. Okay? In other words, it is obvious that to everyone that you made the costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the blueprint myself. Yeah, me too. It and it's obvious. The man who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. Terrible. Oh, it's Hero! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? <laughs> Good idea! We wouldn't want him killing anyone else! <laughs> to tie me up?! Uh, hold on, on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves a fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. Uh, um... Attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. This could be Byakuya pulling pranks again. What the heck? This could be... Oh, whatever, okay. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them! Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about! There must be a fake hero running around! God you damn it. You're just making yourself even more suspicious. You know that, hero? Then again, it could be your stupidity. You're the one who could wear this costume. So, who else could possibly be... Hmm. One thing I... Could maybe gather from is that it's pos. Wait, no, no. Again, it has to be the accomplice thing again. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think Celeste has some sort of suspicion as well, considering how she's been kind of dictating this entire fiasco as well. What the heck? How do you know if I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. I'm. You're, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing it, Hina started pulling, putting on the Robo Justice costume. Ha! Huh. See, look, see how loose it is. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. So you did make it, after all. Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. That is true. And I hope Hina took the suit back off again. <sighs> well, now we're... You're all out of excuses. Um... No, no, see? It's cause you're a girl. If it was another guy, then it doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl? <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces of the floor, uh, a floor and tried to put it on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See? I told you it was impossible! You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit the hero's body exactly. But... Then... There's another costume? They must have one that looks the same, but... But fits them! Honestly... If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim that there's another suit, yes? Then you must find it to... Find it and show it to us. <gasps> what the heck?! Just the worst! Who cares? Hero's the only one who without an alibi during the whole thing anyways. That's terrible! Which is how we know it was him. What? I mean, is this really true? I have no idea what's been happening! Did someone, like, tell me?! Okay, Robo Justice costume has been added to the truth bullets. What else is there to tell about now? She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk, I better leave her alone. Kyoko could be in suspicion as well. Alright, uh, we, oh, oh, I guess we could, okay. There's a big locker in the pool. Alright, that totally helps. What the heck? I guess Sakura is also guarding the body as well. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Mm. But where was Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Perhaps... perhaps she really is working for the mastermind, but what else would explain her questionable behavior? <laughs> you are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she helped me out until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would be doing to earn your trust. 
thing is, I don't trust any of y'all fuckers right here. It looks more and more like it was really a setup. Maybe, who knows. Let me look at his... Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? what? Two people? This is the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it! Please. I did not! Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it! I know who did it! So then... You might as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Ifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? No, it's definitely impossible for both of them to fight each other. They were both murdered in the different well. areas. Which means Alter Ego and Slash or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so huh. I know. That note. Nope. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Motokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the rec room at 1 a.m. <sighs> but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Okay. Huh? I mean, it couldn't hurt to investigate, right? As long as we're still suspicious of him, of course. <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. That is another possibility. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. <sighs> Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite out every piece of bait that floats in front of you. <sighs> well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah. Gah -ho! It preyed on my desire to get out of here! They deceived me! <sighs> I still don't buy it. Don't be mean! Well, you should buy it! No, no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note! Hmm. With pleasure! I have right in my, um, pocket. No way! Looks like I lost it. God! Yep! Yeah. I mean, it's possible that you might be set up, but you're making it very difficult for us, you know that? Please! Please, you gotta believe me, it wouldn't hurt to fly! <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want to believe it, you give us a reason. Uh -huh. What the heck? Are you serious? This account. Okay. <laughs> I guess we can uh, still have this testimony. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Yes, we know who killed Hifumi. But not Taka. That's the question. The well, heck? I guess... Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero! Uh -huh. No, it's like I said! It's the worst! Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must have been totally broke, that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation! Someone help me! Insane. Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you! Hmm. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? Ah, you're alright! I need to look for a second suit on that note! Feet, don't fail me now! I guess I better get on guard duty! I was gonna ask Toko or er, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a castra castra catastrophe catastrophe on our heads. God damn, that's a hard word. Well, bye. One by one, everyone fade away. Makoto, do you have a second? I want you to help me with the investigation. It, seem... it, it looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up with some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, could, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. <laughs> well, that was a straightforward answer. To reject me so simply. Anyway. anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? God damn it, Makoto, you have a backbone, you know that? Alright. Uh, thanks. Now, then, shall we? Alright. Hey. Do tell. So, Makoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl with the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth for more easier than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins. Alright, I guess to the dead bodies we go. After the next episode of Danganronpa, stay tuned for that.